Okay, thanks, Kevin. Uh, good morning, everyone. Again, we saw the flow being active again this morning. It had moved or advanced uh, again another about 420 yards since yesterday morning. It's uh, relatively narrow. I would estimate about 50 yards wide um, at the flow front. Very little uh, or no fire threat. It's it's pretty wet out there. The flow is uh, transitioning through different fuel types from light vegetation into a little heavier uh, a kipuka of trees out there. So we had more uh, smoke activity or burning activity with heavy smoke presenting this morning. The smoke conditions are blowing with the normal trades down towards the southeast. So there was a fairly significant plume extending through Kauhi homesteads, Leilani Estates, Nanavali, and then on down to the, the coast. Uh, that was also maybe uh, magnified by the fact that we had some cool temperatures, so a little bit of a thermal inversion of smoke sitting down over those communities. So in our message this morning was just uh, alerting the community to heavier than normal smoke conditions, but it would be expected to break once the sun came up and uh, ground heated up and we see some you know, breaking of that thermal inversion. Uh, but other than that, we're just monitoring it. Right now, the flow front, um, based on a straight line to the intersection of Highway 130, Pohol Village Road, roughly 2.5 miles. And um, as was noted, I think, in one of the uh, reports, in the media this morning, we did go door to door yesterday with the businesses in the, I want to say the market complex where Malama Market is, Ace Hardware, and a lot of the smaller businesses there. We are going to be having a meeting with the businesses tomorrow, and it's just to talk about the status of the flow, what activity we're seeing, and to review with them their individual response plans and any questions they may have. Uh, and as we told them yesterday, this does not in any way indicate that the threat is imminent or immediate but we needed to keep them informed of what we're seeing and to revisit their response plan, and we'll give them adequate notice to initiate their response plans uh, in a timely and safe manner. When and where is the uh, meeting going to be for businesses tomorrow? This is Baron at Y247. Hi, Baron. Uh, we're having a meeting with the businesses uh, tomorrow at the Pohol Community Center. Again, this is just for the businesses, uh, and it's all that we can have um, candid conversations about any issues they may have, proprietary or otherwise. So. At this point, it's uh, just for civil defense and some of the uh, agencies that might have a role in assisting the businesses and the businesses themselves. Um, yeah, I wanted to ask, uh, how, when do you expect the flow to reach that, that area where the two steep descent pathways? The, um, as of yesterday, and I, I think even as uh, current as this morning, where the two paths of steepest descent are very close together was about a kilometer away from where the leading edge of the flow is now. So based on that, we're looking at over the next, you know, two, two and a half days, depending if it maintains its current rate of advancement, it approaching that point where the two paths are so close that it's possible that it could take either or even split. Uh, again, that might be a question best answered by HVO, but it's approaching that area, and uh, it'll probably be over the next two days. Yeah, this is Mike at HVO. Um, I, I would just echo what Daryl said. It's moving towards this area. It's it's uh, along the pathway. It's um, somewhere between several hundred meters and a kilometer uh, from where those two steepest lines of descent start to intersect or start to, to converge. And uh, it'll have to sort of pass into that area where we expect it to slow down a bit because of uh, uh, topography that's a little gentler. Um, so it may be a few days before we actually see whether it starts following uh, one or the other downslope. Uh, a few days after the next couple of days, in other words? Well, yeah, because if, if it really does slow down, um, hitting this uh, sort of topographic uh, lull, then it will take some time to sort of pond there, and then mm -hmm. uh, it will pick one of those or both of those uh, of those pathways. So when it arrives in that area, that still won't be. Uh, it's not going to immediately, uh, at least the, the way we're, we're forecasting this, it's not going to immediately pick a pathway. It'll probably uh, sit in that area possibly for a couple of days before it uh, it um, one of those sort of dominates over the other.